gentlemen, these are important words. I mean, these people, what they are saying is very important. And they are the people who are actually in the industry. They know. The only thing that they are saying, just keep it going, keep it rolling, you know. Just don't, don't be put back by your color or by the country where you come from. Because as it has been said, you know, you cannot succeed by just by, sit, by sitting. Now, we have plenty of questions coming. Thank you. So my name is Vince Diop. I'm originally from Senegal. So the first thing I would really like to thank is Tom, who brought me here tonight. And Mr. Shabi, you give us an unbelievable opportunity in this day and in this city to be here and to be a part of the Midlands movie, even if it's not only that. Now, it's fantastic for me to meet like, somebody like Anthony and to know that he has such an unbelievable tool and he brings it to Guitre. You have more than 7,000 cities in Europe. Why do that? I suppose it's your talent, Shabi, who made him come here. But that's why I was looking to it today and I was very impressed because I saw it in a way I never saw it before. It was just a clip. And I had a feeling that I was in Manhattan or something like that. So I said, the damn city, is that a city I'm living in? So he makes me dream and he's coming from outside. When I look to all of you, it's so strange and so strong. We have all type of people. We have Black producers who are dealing with white characters. We have, like you, I think the last movie I saw of Shabi was, I don't see any black character in it, or maybe one, Cash. And you are a black producer. At the same time, I saw white producers who are dealing with a black population, with black characters. And black producers who are dealing with black characters. Color does not exist. Yes. There's no colored people and non colored people. White is a color, and black is a color. Because otherwise, Black is not a color and white is not a color. So do not divide yourself. One of the things that I find very interesting is the word collaboration. Because you have a lot of words we use the same roots. The first one is collecting, bringing things together. The second one is collapse, uh, collateral, things on the side. But you have one thing so you can collapse. Because it's, it is difficult to bring things together. Now, I would like to say that I'm sure that there is a lot of collision between your interest as a person and the interest of the people who finance the movies. One of the things I was very surprised, when I was a young kid, I left Europe, I was 14 I arrived in Ethiopia, and for the first time of my life, I was paying 25 cents and we had three movies. The first one was Russia, it was a, <laughs> it was a communist country at the time. Nobody understood anything, people liked it. The second one was from mostly India, and people were loving that shit. They said, wow, it's so beautiful. And they were only singing, but they were making us dreamy. And after that, we saw a lot of African movies also, and we didn't like it. Why we didn't like it? Because it, we were dreaming with that. We had a feeling that it was made to, for other people to understand us. So I think that one of the most important things in that collaboration is to make movies, not only so that people understand us, but that we can still dream. And we can still have that feeling that we are a part of it. Thank you for your attention. Hi, I'm Trisha. I'm a producer at the biggest urban radio station in Auburn called Juice FM. I just had a question in general for everyone staying here. Uh, you all seem to have a very strong and distinct point of view uh, about this matter. So I'm wondering, the media is really big, there's a lot of ways to put your message out there through books, music, internet websites. Why did you choose for films in particular? I think when you start uh, in your career or just in life when you're quite young, you know what you want to be. You can't decide to, to change your path um, to something to suit other people. So if you feel that film or radio or TV or um, journalism is the way for you personally, where you get your satisfaction, that's the way you go. You don't choose it to satisfy other people because you won't get anywhere that way. So we chose film because it is an inherent part of our um, educational character and it's a good way for us to tell stories of every man, every kid in the street, every person who has a story, you can tell those stories through movies and not through uh, documentaries or through journalism. It's our method of expressing ourselves. 
For my part, yes. it's not entirely the same thing. No. And my story is that I, when I was a little kid, I used to walk a long way to go, on a, every Saturday afternoon to go and see movies. I didn't care what I saw as long as I could see movies, okay? And I went on my own, if nobody would go with me, I'd go on my own, I'd sneak out to go and see movies. To me, it was just one of those things. The stuff was there, and I just loved it. I, just, I came out of there fantasizing about you know, movies. And then I went off and I, stu and, I, and I studied medicine at university. First year I did medicine. Uh, because I thought that was a job, you know, um, and I didn't really know that there were other things that you do. So then, um, after the first year, I changed to political philosophy, and I studied, and I did an honors degree in political philosophy. All the time, I was making little movies at university. My mates and I, we bought a little camera, 16 millimeters, we shot movies. We started just doing I still didn't think it was a job, you know. I thought, okay, people are making movies, but hey, it's not a job. How do you, you know, it's just not one of those things you can do and make money with. Or, or, not that I was thinking money, but it was... Just, so anyway, it's a thing that is either in you or it's not in you, I believe. You, know? you either have to do it or you don't have to do it. And I've tried other stuff and I keep coming back to movies. I don't actually just don't want to do anything else. I'd rather just do nothing at all if I, if I, had, to, you know, if I had to choose. So it's a thing that you, you do because you, you kind of, for whatever reason, feel you have to do it. Because in the end, movies end up on television. So... Uh it's the best thing, and it's 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 about soccer on television. It's about uh, idols on television, where you have all kind of cultures being uh, suddenly some 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 Moroccan or Suriname or Congolese singer, like in the other uh, episode of Idols, is, is popular and and a hero. I think if you want to change something, you really uh, change uh, television. Uh,